Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. You guys didn't get, get a video last week, but you're getting one this week. And this week, trunk is painted. That's nice. We got lots of parts incoming. Great progress. Hopefully engine bay is gonna get primed too. Yeah. Beep, beep. That's a lot of money. Making me feel all kind of high. Rust repairs, hell yeah. And I'm gonna... That was two canes in a straight shot, and I'm getting a little bit dizzy over here. That was boss house. Let me blow this off real quick. Gold finger. God damn it, will you turn off? Damn, it's cold outside. So uh, that's probably two or three weeks until we get like plus five degrees here again. And uh, we gotta get moving in this road runner, man. I can't keep waiting on this weather. So trunk area and floor area inside the cabin that we're gonna have to paint. I'm gonna have to do some kind of solution to get it heated up here and uh, lay down some paint. And uh, I'm still not sure what we're gonna do about the sensor console bracket, cause I think this car, even though it spawns sensor console, let me tell you what, if you need all the parts and buy a new center console, trim pieces, hardware and blah 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 and stuff, we're talking like 3500 bucks. That's a lot of money. Throw some heaters in here or something. Get, get some temperature in here and then uh, we're gonna shoot it. Ain't nothing to it. But to do it, let's do this, shall we? Oh, epic music, making me feel all kind of hype. Well, looks like we are ready to put down our first layer of paint in the trunk. Everything is prepped from like the paint, paint can and this way. Also, underneath up here and all the, all the torsion rods and stuff, I uh, also sand it down. And I actually did find a little bit of rust over here and I got it out the uh, original seam sealer. I'm gonna let it be for now, metal primer and, you know, get it sealed, but uh, next winter or something, project, floor pan and I guess trunk pan extension thing right here is gonna be a thing. Rust repairs, hell yeah, Mopage, you already know, they usually got a little bit more rust than other cars, I don't know why. Now I'm gonna move back to the trunk, which I have a giant heater inside here, I closed all the doors and the trunk, so that's like nice. 70 degrees in here right now, 75, 80 probably. It's a pretty good heater, it's, it's pretty powerful. I'm gonna turn that off so there's no wind, open the trunk and uh, utilize that all the panels are still nice and warm, plus I put the paint in there and I'm gonna paint the old trunk. Two canes in a straight shot, and I'm getting a little bit dizzy over here. Man, oh man, does this look good. But well, we definitely need a can or two more. That's for sure. So while the front end is uh, heating up, I want to show you guys the rear. Uh, on the rear, the only thing we need right now. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. Because this is, I mean, quick cleanup primer. And then I found some uh, automotive gold paint. That somewhat looks like the factory gold paint. And if you ask me, that looks pretty damn decent. But it has like a really nice low-key shine and whatnot. And uh, I feel like this stuff is pretty durable too. Uh, the few pieces I have tried to paint. Uh, I've done a few test spots on the car on the outside too to uh, see if we can paint match some stuff. But uh, So what I'm gonna do while this is uh, <laughs> somewhat hot is uh, lay down some clear. Look at that difference. The gold is way more. How do I say? More deep. More better. <laughs> That's it. Well, luckily this is not a perfect car, huh? Because that's literally like 
fingerprint of my jacket here. Look at that. I messed up. So close to finish line, but it... Eh, that'll buff out. Plus, it's not a perfect car, so it's... It's gonna look a little bit like some, uh, Real patina. Also got a few drips in there when I painted the upside. It's not supposed to be for perfect anyhow, so... I'm not, I'm not too, uh, too mad about that. I mean, look at the shine. Well, I think I'm officially done prepping the engine bay. So uh, I'm gonna go get some primer tomorrow. And uh, then we're gonna coat this whole thing. Well, the primer itself, I'm mostly gonna coat the bare metal spots or whatever. Because uh, we already got primer, gold, and... Uh, Everything you see that's gold, I only, I guess, like grind it through like a clear coat layer. So there's still like a good coat of, uh, of gold everywhere. You can see there's gold right now. So I'm going to take a primer and I'm going to lay down probably a thin coat over everything. And then like a thicker coat over all of like the bare metal uh, and the bodywork spots uh, that we have done so far. So everything wiped down right now with uh, some minimal spirits, clean up. Thing, whatever and uh, it looks pretty good so I'm gonna blow it off right now and then I'm gonna go over it with some fine paper rags because uh, with white fine paper rags you can easily see if there's any dirt left because uh, uh, it shows up in the paper real quick so I'm just gonna go through uh, everything again let me blow this off real quick Denmark or Euro Road, you know, but uh, I'm a pretty big fan of plastic coats metal primer. I used it on my fiber for my frame and the flaws, and that's almost four years ago now, probably, oh, three years maybe. Three and a half years? Jesus Christ, I had that car a long time. Anyway, no surface rust, no nothing. I even ran with the, the flaws only in this primer for over a year, and people drug, drug their foot around on it with stones and scratch it and blah 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 and stuff, and this held up really damn good, so. Uh, yeah, plastic coat, metal primer, pretty good stuff. Man, that's still nice and hot in there. Let's hope the vintage air cleaner is gonna work just as good. Blanket or something over the ground here to cover up most of all the dust on it. So uh, we started to get a little bit of heat up in here. I mean, it's not warm, but it's not cold either, so. That's a great start, I guess. So, we're gonna start with some primer work here. And uh, then we most likely gonna do a light coat over most of the gold stuff. And then I'm gonna use the rest of the gold that I have to do the outsides here. And then I guess sometime next week, we can lay down the gold and the clear coat on the inside, on the main parts. Right now I just want to get all this metal sealed up so it doesn't rust or whatever. So, uh, and before anybody is commenting on the, the windshield, this is so dusty that it's almost easy to let the overspray land and then I can wipe it off. I've done that the last time too, so uh, don't worry about it. God damn it, will you turn off? Again, I just want to coat all the, the bare metal spots. Also, I'm still in the same can. These things hold up for a long time. So, as you can see, uh, I ended up doing like thicker coats on bare metal spots or whatever. And then I just did a light coat over the whole thing. Yes, that's all paint. Yes, there's overspray in the windshield. Don't worry. I own a razor blade. It ain't the end of the world, okay? I guess I'm just gonna empty the gold can that I have left out here on the side piece. Pretty much everything that's out here and on this side down. 
Goldfinger. I'm not gonna mess this doll up because uh, we're gonna bodywork the whole doll anyway. It's absolutely shit, to be fair. So, uh, I don't care about that. <laughs> Man, I love this doll, it's so cool. Even though the spray paint that I have is not like, it isn't perfect. It's not like a perfect match to the car. Um, Cause if I had to get like custom cans every time, like custom uh, mixed paint cans, that would be way too expensive, okay? Let me tell you. It's almost just worth it to paint it this way, just so I can enjoy how it looks while the car's apart, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you cannot hate on that. That looks... He is. He is. He is. There goes that windshield and fender. Anyway, look at that. It's amazing. And now we can put this thing back on. So, I mean, 10 bucks and 2 minutes, and you got this. You can't hate on that, can you? I mean, look at it. It's mint. And once the doll is done, and we get the trim down here, fenders on, you're never gonna see it. Isn't that nice to know? So, I had to end this week's video off a little short, I guess, at like 10 minutes or so, now that I watched it and edited it. And most of the stuff was just like prepping and cleaning stuff up to paint stuff and then I painted stuff here now and then. This video was probably recorded over like three days or so. You know, it's kind of hard to make stuff like that interesting for YouTube. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I think tomorrow I'm actually going to upload an extra video for you guys with a little bit of like unboxing and showing some parts that I got for the Roadrunner. And the uh, next week's video should hopefully be a little bit more interesting and fun because I should have all the painting stuff done in the same video and then we should also be starting to get like stuff uh, stuff like the subframe back on uh, bumpers uh, the front end uh, mount the hood on the car maybe uh, oh i just forgot we also have to paint the inside of the hood somebody painted that silver for some reason i don't know why but we're gonna start to actually make it look like a car again and uh, once all that is done you know we can put suspension on the car can sit on the ground again we can start to test fit engines and transmission and i mean in a week if not two weeks, this build is gonna start to become really interesting. It's gonna start to pick up in pace, you know you know what I mean? We've gone through all the boring prepping stuff uh, now, and uh, now uh, parts are starting to come home, and uh, we're starting to get things done so we can start to bring the car back together as a car, you know, put an interior uh, suspension, the engine and stuff like that. So it's starting to look like a car and take form again, and I'm so excited for that. Uh, and I hope you guys are too. I really enjoy uh, filming and uh, documenting this progress. Thank you for watching, compadres. Leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.